In this video, we're going to look at resolving forces. We're going to be splitting a diagonal force up into two components, one in the x direction and one in the y direction. So here we've got a force, 10 newtons, acting at an angle of 35 degrees to the horizontal, to the x-axis. We're going to split that force up into one force going along the x-axis and one force going up the y-axis. So this is a right angle triangle. So there's a right angle. And we're going to say that one force, 10 newtons here, is the same as these two forces together. So 10 is the hypotenuse, 35 is the angle, and we're going to work out what these two forces are. So in the x direction, we're going to work out this force. So we're going to use Sokotoa, and we've got the hypotenuse and the adjacent. So we've got Sokotoa with the hypotenuse and the adjacent. So that means we're using Ka. So we've got cos 35 equals adjacent over hypotenuse, which means x is 10 cos 35. For the y direction, we've got the hypotenuse and the opposite. So the hypotenuse and the opposite, and we'll say that sine 35 equals opposite over hypotenuse. So y equals 10 sine 35. So we can say in the x direction, we've got 10 cos 35. In the y direction, we've got 10 sine 35. And this is a pattern you're going to see over and over again. So when we've got the adjacent, that's cos. When we've got the opposite, that's sine. Let's have a look at another example. So we're going to split this force up, this 5 newton force, into a force up the y axis and a force along the x axis. So we've got for the x direction, we're going to work out this force. So we've got the opposite. So we've got 5 here. We've got the opposite. And the hypotenuse. So sine 20 equals x over 5. So x is 5 sine 20. In the y direction, we've got the adjacent and the hypotenuse. So cos 20 is x over 5. So x is 5 cos 20. Okay, so this time we've got a force going backwards and down, but we're still going to split it into two forces. So one backwards, well, one down in the y-axis, and one backwards along the x-axis. So in the x-direction, so that's this force, we've got the opposite. So it's sine, so sine 25 equals x over h, so x is 6 sine 25. You could say it's negative along the x-axis, so negative 6 sine 35, but we're going to ignore the direction and just make sure we get the, the forces right. So in the y direction, we've got the adjacent, so it's cos, ka, so cos 25 equals y over 6. So y equals 6 cos 25. Again, it's down the y-axis, so you could say negative 6 cos 25. But we just want to get the forces right in this case. 
So here are six more questions. So pause the video, see if you can give them, a, see if you can get them right. So find the force in the x direction and the force in the y direction. We do one, two, three, four, five, six. So in the first case, we have, so the force in the x direction is the opposite. So it's sine. So x equals 6 sine 25. Or negative, because it's backwards along the x direction. y is the adjacent. So that will be 6 cos 25. And again, that could be negative 625 because it's down the y-axis. Okay, question two. So for the x direction, we've got the opposite. So opposite is sine, so. So x is 4 sine 35. And y is the adjacent so that's 4 cos 25 question 3 so this time x is the adjacent so that's cos so x equals 3 cos 19 y is the opposite so it's sine so 3 sine 19. Question 4. So this time we've got x as the adjacent. So x equals, in this case, 10 cos 42. y is the opposite. So it's 10 sine 42. And x would be negative if you're taking the, the positive and negative into account. Question 5. So x is the adjacent. So x equals 7 cos 61. y is the opposite. So y equals 7 sine 61. Both positive. And finally, so we've got x as the adjacent, so x equals 8 cos 38, y is the opposite, so y equals 8 sine 38. And again, x is negative this time, so it's backwards along the x-axis, and y is positive, because it's in the positive y direction. Okay, 